Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from ThrillRight.com. How you doing? So today I'm out at a place called Paramount Ranch in Agora Hills. And this is another famous movie ranch that's been in Southern California since the late 20s, I believe, when Paramount bought the property and began developing it for all kinds of external location uh, facilities. And um, at one point it had a pretty detailed western town, uh, a lot of other structures out here, and quite sadly, uh, most of the structures were destroyed in the November 2018 Woolsey fire. So there's not much left here, but there are a few structures intact, some of which I think you'll recognize. And it's just a beautiful location out here in the, uh, the canyons near Agora Hills, California. Um, uh, it's such a beautiful morning too. It's crisp and cool, but the sun's out and it's pretty glorious. So yeah, we're going to take a look around and see what's still here. So let's take a look. So as you can see, buildings intact or not, this is one beautiful place to spend a cool winter morning. It is really, really magnificent out here right now. So I don't know if you can hear that buzzing in the background, but uh, to the right, they have a dedicated area for uh, remote control models. I see a couple of planes flying around, but to our left, that's where the uh, Western town would have been. So we're going to hike that way. And you can see in these trees still standing evidence of that fire, which of course, it's a devastating thing we uh, Southern Californians are going to be dealing with for the foreseeable future. Well, that's neat. I can see up ahead. It looks like uh, there's a little company here that will rent you a horse to explore the hills with. That's kind of neat. I have not ridden a horse in decades, but I have fond memories of summer camp and visiting some friends who had a ranch back in Connecticut with horses. They're pretty amazing animals. So there is this structure here which, uh, according to the sign around the side, is a fire station. Now, whether this was built to be a fire station, a working functional fire station for the ranch, or a location to be used on screen, or both, I don't know. There you go, fire station, engine 73. And I guess it's also home to... Uh, some of our reptilian friends. And this looks to be some sort of bus waiting station location. With the sign identifying it as the Paramount Stop. <laughs> it's got the firehouse in back. And then, of course, bus only. One can only imagine what kind of films this might have been used for. Neat. So soon after this devastating fire destroyed most of the structures here, they did announce that they had formed, some group had formed, I think called the Paramount Project, to rebuild these uh, lost structures. And I was hoping they might have made some progress, but it doesn't look like much has been restored yet, but plenty of equipment out here. So one will hope that it won't be too much longer before there will be at least uh, some elements that used to be here. Well, there's a map of the property. There's a little more information. It says, uh, when Paramount Pictures leased the ranch in 1923, they began an era of film production that continues today. 
This real-life motion picture set is altered slightly for each production, yet retains a western motif. If you're lucky, you can witness the magic of movie making as you stroll through western town. Well, sadly, there's not much movie making going on right now, but uh, as they also say, the surrounding hills are home to iconic native oak species, coast live oak and valley oak. Hike through the rail valley oak savanna, a landscape that may disappear as the climate changes. All right, let's head in. Yeah, you can see the open spaces where I'm sure a ton of buildings used to stand. What a bummer. But again, there are there are a couple of a couple of structures here. And if you uh, were a fan or are a fan of HBO's Westworld, I believe this is the White Church that was used in the filming of that series. Had a little bit of rain, so I was hoping to see a little more gully washing going on, but it's uh, a little dry here. Again, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I recall a few key scenes in Westworld that took place around this church. And if I'm remembering correctly, the lead character has a big moment of revelation in front of this church towards the latter part of the series. And I'm not going to say anything about that for those of you who have not yet watched and want to. <laughs> but it's really good. At least season one. That's, that's that I can vouch for. Just a quick peek inside from the bay windows on the back. Uh, neat. Now this other building over here kind of feels like a train depot. And I could imagine that would have gotten a fair amount of use for the Westworld production. But I'm also wondering, does this look kind of familiar from The Good Place? An amazing, fantastic show. If you haven't seen it, I couldn't recommend it more highly. But there is a train station that has an important role in that series. And gosh, it sure... I could be wrong, but this sure feels like it might have been. It's the color scheme, that kind of beige burgundy look, gosh. <laughs> well, if anybody knows, if this was the structure used for the train station in The Good Place, leave a comment down below. And as you probably saw on the map, there are quite a few trails out here. And I'm positive I'm not going to get through all of them on this particular morning. But Coyote Trail sounds pretty intriguing. So we're going to check that out. And it's very cool to see the new growth coming up amongst the charred remains of uh, the trees that preceded 2018. Look at this tree. 
completely black, but green branches have re-sprouted. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Life finds a way. Nice scenic overlook coming up. We're definitely heading this way. Yeah, movie set town or no, this is a pretty damn awesome set of trails. Wow, so pretty and so quiet. Man, not quite sure what kind of rock this big mottled pink thing is, but that's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely digging the signs of new growth coming up right around the burned trees and uh, foliage. Very neat. Ooh, there's some kind of critter in there. <laughs> yeah. Now rattle, that's good. There's a picnic area up here, cool. And a good workout climbing up this little this little peak. And the higher we go, oh man, the more amazing the view gets. Yeah, I'm starting to think I uh, <laughs> I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere because I do not believe I'm heading towards a picnic area, but it's all good. This, uh, this elevated view is really remarkable. Oh, look at those mountains in the distance. Just magnificent. Oh, yeah. All right, summit attained. So pretty. And a little unnerving because right there it's a bit of a drop off. Pretty steep. <laughs> and I'm not going to get any closer to that ledge, but man, oh, just great. I wish I knew what these tall, light green plants are these kind of elegant stalks you can see them here and across the way on those uh, hillsides over there as well seem to be a kind of plant that thrives in uh, an environment that's just had a big fire is pin drop quiet at the moment. God, that's so beautiful. So there are a ton of trails out here and I'm only gonna be able to grab a tiny slice of this, but there is something called Racetrack Road on the map. And I believe that's what this paved section right here is all about. I'm not quite sure what movie location purpose this served as. But I'm looking for another trail which leads back to something called the Witch's Wood, which I'm very curious about. <laughs> not sure I'm going to be able to find it this morning, but we'll see. So I'm many, many, many years past my Boy Scout days, and my map reading skills seem to have uh seem to have gone to hell 
but I think I'm on what's called the Hacienda Trail, which does lead back to something in the map called Witch's Wood. And uh, let's see if I can suss that out. Alright, we've come to the proverbial fork in the road. And I think I want to bear left. Yeah, we're gonna try that. Frog right, bear left. And as I've said before in other hiking videos, what bridges? I love the shift in audio and that crunchiness on the ground. Ooh, cool. A bunch of birds just doing a little low lying maneuver. Anyway, the shift between the crunch of the ground and that kind of hollow wood sound. It's nice. I'm not 100% on this, but according to the sign, the trail dead ends at private property. And I believe then that makes this the witch's wood, maybe? Certainly has an interesting cranky feel. Huh, maybe this is it. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was called the witch's wood before the fire, but this little grove of black trees feels very Halloweenish. Oh yeah. Oh, here's a nice little shady spot. Well, it's not like I can do a whole lot, but I'm certainly going to do my part. Oh, look, I got little brochures in here. Oh, nice. All right. I think that is going to bring this one to a close. And, uh, yeah, not quite so much yakety yakking in this one. To quote Calvin and Hobbes, sometimes it's nice to just be quiet and let nature do the talking. Or not. Just let nature be quiet too. So, once again, thanks for coming along. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.